The Ouse is a special river because it's rather unique in this part of southern England. It's a small, slow-flowing lowland river which is not the sort of place you'd normally associate with sea trout. And yet it has a fine run of sea trout and these are some of the largest sea trout of, of good average size you'll find anywhere in the country. Our society controls the fishing on about three and a half kilometres of the River Ouse from Barkham Mills down to Hamsey Island. Our society has around 150 members, of which roughly a third are dedicated sea trout anglers, many of whom travel quite long distances to fish here. I was called what, late one evening uh, after coming back from work by our head bailiff, Jim Smith, who informed me there'd been another pollution on the Plumpton Millstream. But this time he said it was catastrophic. A slurry basically had run off the fields, uh, frozen fields, straight into the river, and basically wiped out a whole stock of sea trout for that year. It wasn't the only the large fish, the large sea trout that were killed, but, but also the, the eggs that were in the reds. Uh, they'd just be suffocated. We believe we witnessed a total wipeout of sea trout and other fish stock all the way down the Plumpton Mill Stream, where it joins the Bevan, right the way down to the bottom as it enters the ooze. The Environment Agency categorised the pollution as a Category 1 incident, the worst uh, they could possibly expect. Since the incident, the Environment Agency have undertaken a criminal prosecution case against the polluter, which has resulted in a penalty award of fines and costs of just under £100,000. The impact of the pollution has been so great that this year we only had 15 applications for, to renew their sea trout permits out of the 55 members that we had. We contacted Fish Legal within hours of the event and since then they have done some outstanding work on our behalf uh, which has resulted in an award for compensation for our loss of amenity. I would suggest that all societies and angling clubs join the Angling Trust and support Fish Legal. They've done an outstanding job for us.